All right, the camera's on, but the lighting is not good. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to this episode of Coffee Breaks with Brie. So I just went to Dunks. The girls on the microphone were hysterical because they were laughing about something while trying to take my order. And normally, like, I feel like some people would get frustrated with that. I myself thought it was funny because I started laughing. And then I was trying to order and I was afraid I was gonna get the wrong coffees. But luckily, I think we're in luck. They did give me my large iced, which I know this is a little much, but I needed it for today. Other than my large iced coffee, I did also get a small pumpkin cream cold brew with just two milks. Now I'm not somebody who usually gets cold brew. I actually, I actually don't think I've literally ever gotten cold brew unless it was for like my dad or my brother or someone else. I don't think I've ever gotten a cold brew. Yeah. But I decided with fall kind of approaching and I'm one of those crazy people who loves to decorate and like, you know, get into Halloween and the whole fall season a little too early. People make fun of me for it all the time, but I'm one of those people. So I was really excited and decided that I would try the pumpkin cream cold brew that Duncan has to offer for this fall season. All right, the girl also in the midst of laughing gave me a large straw for the small coffee, which is fine because I love hearing people laugh and like, you know what, you're at work, but at least you're having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. That was great. And I'm gonna mix the cold brew around. I have like a strong feeling that hopefully they didn't forget to put the pumpkin in here because it does just look like a regular cold brew with milk. So fingers crossed, here we go. We're gonna try it. Holy cow, that's delicious. Hold the phone, hold on. Okay, okay. So I think I just found something that I might be um, ordering more often now for the fall season. Okay, hear me out. This looks really funny with a large straw in it. Do you guys think it would be a good idea to mix the cold brew pumpkin cream in with my large iced coffee after this video? Because that's kind of what we're feeling. like drink more of this, pour this in, give myself a heart attack because I've had way too much caffeine. It's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Anyways, let's get back to the review because now I'm just talking about nonsense. First thing I want to say about it, I do love the pumpkin spice flavor. There is, I feel like, a lot of spiciness to it, which I don't know if you guys can catch that vibe, but it just feels like there's a lot of like, I taste the pumpkin, but I feel like I taste more of the spice that they have in the coffee. It does taste very good. It is also a little bit sweet, which I don't actually mind because it's not like an overpowering sweetness that you would taste in a coffee. Cause if you guys have watched my videos, I feel like I say this in every video. I am somebody who I don't enjoy uh, sugar in my coffee, any type of sweet coffee. I'm not really a fan. I barely even drink like soda. So actually having the coffee with that little bit of sweetness in it is okay. I think especially because of the flavor. I do love the pumpkin flavor. I do love the spice. And I, I do kind of like that like overwhelming spicy taste. There's something about it, especially this morning, that it's just like, it tastes good. It tastes really good. I honestly could see myself going back and getting a medium. I got a small because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but it actually tastes really, really good. I'm... I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Oh, it's delicious. As I'm drinking it though, I'm wondering if this is similar to like the pumpkin spice coffee they had last year or if this is like a whole different type of coffee because this is called like a pumpkin cream cold brew. And guys, I'm sorry, like I know I make a lot of reviews on Duncan and I live in Massachusetts where we literally have a Duncan on every corner, but I don't know. There's something about it that does taste a little different than the pumpkin spice they had last year, but I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, in a way, it kind of reminds me of if I was eating a candle. I do feel like anything like pumpkin spice, like drink-wise flavoring, does remind me of eating a candle. 
in a non strange way, but it tastes really good. So moving on. If I was to rate this coffee, honestly, I want to give this a nine out of 10, just because Again, with the sweetness, I'm not a huge fan, but I do like it with the pumpkin spice in there. It definitely gives me those fall vibes, even though you can see in the background it is still summer. The sun is shining. It's hot. It's warm today. And uh, there's no changing of the leaves yet. Maybe a little bit, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 for the pumpkin cream cold brew. They have a Dunkin' Donuts. If you have a Dunkin' near you, feel free to go check it out. Try it for yourself. You probably want to get a small just because mm, if you're like me, not sure if you're definitely going to like it, just get a small. And then now I realize that I could get mediums and drink this all day, every day, come this fall. So look out. Sorry to my regular coffee that I normally drink. I think pumpkin spice is where it's at. So. Now I want to go to Salem and buy witchy things and carve pumpkins and watch horror movies. So those are the vibes I'm getting from the coffee, but the weather outside, it's like still summertime and I should probably be going to the beach. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little review of the pumpkin cream cold brew Dunkin' Donuts has available for this fall. I know it was really quick, not a whole lot to say, but if you're interested in checking it out, definitely go to a Dunkin' near you, check it out for yourself. Maybe you leave a comment, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Maybe it doesn't taste like a candle to you. Thank you for checking out this review. I will catch you guys next time on Coffee Breaks with Brie. Don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. Give it a thumbs up, leave it a comment. If you've tried it, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.